So repurposed, redone, or rethought. I mean, this whole idea has exploded in the last few years. We, we, did, we redid a, a dresser not too long ago. Did it in a new way that's mm -hmm. an old way. Yep. Well, if that's, your, if that's your style, just brace yourself. Junk Palooza opens in La Vista tomorrow. It does, and here with a preview, welcome back, Jill McCormick. Good to see you, Jill. Hi, how are you Thanks this for coming in. You brought some good stuff in here. Some of this is some older, like, re repurposable right. stuff. In our booth, we like to have things that people can take home and they can do their own thing with it or do their own twist. This is a lot of farm things today um, that I brought in. Where do you want, you want? You want to go down with some of this? Where do you want to start? Um, the old watering cans. Yeah, down here. Everybody wants mm -hmm. them. Um, they Why them does for, everyone want them? Because they plant flowers in mm -hmm. them and they seldom use them for watering, but I still mm -hmm. use them around because they they hold more water. But there's Act so many of these old things around laying yep. in, in people's barns and, and their garages. And they look great on a front porch, right. too. They do, yeah. With a flower in it, looks awesome. Mm -hmm. The cream cans. Yep, right, I'll, I'll just switch this right there. You there you go, Mike. Like Vanna White right there. Mm -hmm. Those are popular. Um, they're getting hard to find, though. There's, so, But I collect them. I have a wall of them and one in our market. but. People like those. They're putting glass tops on them now, yeah. you know, for their patios and right. planting flowers in them. And some people paint them and ruin them. But anyway, <laughs> whatever you want to do. That's they Jill's way of saying don't paint it. The rust you is like part the rust, of the yeah. charm, right? Why are they harder to find? Are they, are they just getting more expensive, too? Um, they're getting more expensive. Uh, we try to keep um, all our prices at Junk Palooza reasonable mm -hmm. and I talk to the vendors before yeah. a, about that even before they become a vendor you know do we want to we want people to be able to buy something when they're there right if you don't leave with something you're not going to have right a good time. you're not a very this good reminds junker. me of something they would go nuts for like on American yeah. pickers yeah so what do we got here well it's an old um, gas can and the this cool one's got some good rust thing about it and I couldn't bring because it, it was too big and I don't have any help because my husband stinks. But anyway, um, <laughs> Tell it's, like it is, it's a car door with the with this painted on. Oh, it's that, the, the horse. But that's on your Facebook page. I saw right. the picture yeah. of it too. And it's so. for sale this weekend, and it's really an awesome old door. Yeah. So this is a five-gallon gas can, right. essentially. We've got the basket here, an old cracker container, and you were going to show us what this did. And we didn't have time in the commercial break, so reveal it live. What exactly is this contraption we've got here? This was in your hardware store or general store or whatever, and you know you um, lit your house with the kerosene lanterns. Mm -hmm. Well, this was on the store shelf. I don't know which way I'm there, doing there this. Go. And you pulled this down, and this was full of kerosene, and that's how they filled their lanterns when they came into oh, the general store. Yeah. Let's flip this around so our viewers can see. So that just stayed up, right? Then you pulled yep. it down. And then you pulled it down. There filled. was kerosene filled with this. Yep. And you in, inside that. And you filled your lanterns, yeah. your own lanterns. and. That's really neat. What does something like this go for? I have thirty-five dollars on, on it. That's the first one I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. And when we were looking at it, I mean, the guy said their heart—you don't ever see them all intact like this. And it, I thought it was just really neat. And if I like it, then I get to have it. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of women feel that way. A lot of guys feel that way too. What are some of the other items that people will find? What are some of the other kinds of things? We have a chainsaw carver that will be actually making his benches and things there this weekend. He makes some really cool benches. We have um, Woodpecker Woodworks. He makes some beautiful benches and headboards and shelving, and it's some of it's walnut. Um, it's beautiful. Well, you have so. a lot of vendors, and this is a look at your Facebook page right here. Okay. Um, your, your vendor list, how many vendors do you have? We have right at 30. They're out there setting up right now, and my husband's in charge, so I'm a little worried about that. But <laughs> you give him a hard time, don't you? Because he <laughs> he deserves <laughs> it. Yeah, we all deserve it. Here's the vendor list. You got Warm Wishes Antiques right on down. So you said there's about 30 of those. There's about 30 of them. They might not all be under because not everybody names. Mm -hmm. You know, has a name. Has a name for their. What other uh, type of activities aside from the ben vendors? What is there to do at Junk Palooza? We have. We have Haunted Hollow on the property too, mm -hmm. if everybody knows that. Yeah. And we have the barn maze open this weekend. We have our antique carousel running so the kids can have a carousel ride on our, our old carousel. We have a fun house open. We've got our cafe open. So we've got all kinds of foods in there, the footlong corn dogs, the 
state fair donuts, things like that, carnival type food, hamburgers, hot dogs, mm -hmm. and the boring stuff. So, but delicious. You can eat there. You can jack around there. The horses will be up at the fence, I'm sure, all day, and so you get to look at a horse, pet a horse, mm -hmm. and the cost to get in. It's five dollars a person, twelve and under, free, cash only. Well, some of I say cash that because not all vendors yeah. take the cards, right. and so then you're, you're going to want to have a lot of cash because not all vendors take credit card. And if there's something you want to purchase, and that particular vendor doesn't accept credit card, you got luck. We have an ATM, but on the property. But We've, if you've got the time to stop and bring right. cash, do it. It'll make it a little bit it's easier. Just Check easier out for all everybody. the vendors. A lot going on, going on tomorrow and Sunday Starts near 120th and Giles. Check out the Facebook page if you want a quick preview of what some of the items are, the vendors, and the full wrap there. So, yep. Jill, thank you. It's Jill, good, good to see you. Thank again. you for having yeah. me. Thanks for bringing this stuff in. Let's good have a nice idea. Weekend. To Junk Palooza. Love yeah. these yeah. kinds of things. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Uh, guess in the morning.